April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, and here in the Diocese of Brooklyn, there are strong measures in place to provide healing and protection to survivors of abuse. Joining us now is Vice Chancellor for the Diocese, Jasmine Salazar, who is also Victim Assistance Coordinator. And Jasmine, the Diocese of Brooklyn actually became an example for other dioceses when it comes to helping victim survivors. How did that happen? Tell us about it. From the Diocese of Brooklyn, um, that was really, that came from the group of survivors that we have over here. Survivors came forward and came in contact with me and um, shared an interest in wanting to be involved in a development of what could be provided for survivors. And so um, I think what made it most successful and why other dioceses reach out to us is because um, it was services that were being provided to survivors, but at the request of survivors. It wasn't us, you know, it wasn't us imposing, hey, we think this would be great for you. It was survivors actually telling us, this is what we need, this is what we would like. Wow, all right, our diocese currently has a lot of strong programs in place to protect minors and to respond to those who have been hurt by someone representing the church. Tell us what some of the measures include. Sure. So in regards to protecting minors, the Diocese of Brooklyn has a very strong safe environment program, which involves mandatory training for all volunteers, all employees, and all members of the clergy in order to be aware of what sexual abuse is, what the signs are, how to prevent it, and how to report if you see something. And the children as well, they have different education programs to, so, to educate them on you know, listening to their internal sirens, what to do if something feels uncomfortable. And then as far as our response to um, victims and survivors, we have a pretty robust program. Uh, the initial is when someone comes in contact with the diocese, I respond to them after they make their initial call and just um, listen, first listen to what they're reporting, but in addition to that, listen to where they're at, what they might be in need of, offer them some short-term counseling and refer them out to therapy, to independent licensed therapists if that's something that they would like. And in our diocese as well, we have a support group for men, um, we have a survivor's advisory committee. So we're, we're actively doing different things and always trying to come up with something new to respond. And Bishop DiMarzio also meets with survivors and listens to them. He also holds the annual Hope and Healing Mass, but that was put on hold this year because of the pandemic. Now, I know it helps survivors by showing them, you know, they're not alone. Uh, what more can you tell us about that Mass, and, and are there plans to hold another one soon? Absolutely. It is a yearly Mass. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we had to postpone it this year. But um, it is something that we're looking forward. We're already having meetings to plan next year's Mass. And um, it is it is a very uh, grace filled event when we have this mass because all the clergy of the diocese also attend and that's upon invitation and request of our survivors group. Um, and it's everyone coming together, standing in solidarity, um, praying for healing because this has affected not only the primary victims, but has affected our whole Catholic community. So it's it's a very special event and and everyone you know, who I've been in contact is always asking me, when's the next one? They really look forward to it. All right, Jasmine Salazar, Vice Chancellor for the Diocese of Brooklyn and Victim Assistance Coordinator doing a lot of important work there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. To contact the diocese's toll-free and confidential sexual abuse reporting line, dial 888-634-4499. The Bishop of Brooklyn, Nicholas DiMarzio, highlights Sexual Assault Awareness Month in his latest article in the tablet. He reinforces the need to protect victims of sexual abuse and prevent further cases. You can read the full article on the tablet.org. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.